Okay, welcome back to Tea Stains, Hexit, Episode 3. Alex went to make tea. So, Graham is a son of a bitch. Yeah, well, if you're gonna leave yourself unprotected, you deserve to be filled with dirt. Fuck's sake. Like Asshole. the slut that you are. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> back to Mexico story, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, where was I? Um, we were dehydrated. We were hungry. Not nearly as bad as the locals, I'm sure, were. Oh, I'll tell the story about when I went into town. That was fun. Um, oh, God. So, we were just a little ways out of town on the resort that we were on. And I figured, well, everybody figured that we'd be running out of resources there soon, which they weren't entirely wrong about. Yeah. Um, and the main road into the resort had flooded. So it was under like half a half an SUV's height of water kind of deal. Yeah. You're being shot at by a skeleton. Um, so basically, no one could get in, no one could get out. Um, yeah. We were more or less trapped where we were um, by vehicle, anyway. So what they did is they had some of the workers go and knock a hole in the wall by one of the tennis courts. Yeah. And, yeah, basically so that vehicles could get in or out. Yeah. And what ended up happening with that is it wasn't incredibly big, but it was enough that people could get in and out with, you know, vehicles to transport stuff and get people to airports and whatnot. Yeah. So that ended up being the road that most people used to go get into town. And yeah, it's a big old drop. <laughs> um, everybody started going into town on the second or third day to buy supplies from yeah. any place that still had supplies to buy from. So um, I went in probably around noon. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the time because I had my phone off to conserve power. And just a little plug to my S5, I fucking love that thing. The battery lasted on, like, power saving mode for a week. Jesus. Yeah, like, it wasn't constant use, but I managed yeah. to make it last for a week and then some. Jesus, I'm, my battery on my phone is garbage, but also, it's the Note 3, so it's like a Massive ass screen, and I need to have it on bright. It drives me nuts when it's all dim. Yeah. Well, there's also like an ultra power saving mode on mine. Yeah, I've, I've seen so, that on Brandy's where like everything it's, disappears. It's super cool, actually. Like everything goes black and white, but. Yeah. Yeah. No, it works really well. Um, phone aside, so I go into town to get supplies, and. It is kind of hellish in town. Like, it's a dirt back road kind of deal to get there. And there are horses loose on the trail. There are donkeys and you know, donkeys and horses, dogs, um, on the walk into town just running loose. Yeah. Kind of look post-apocalyptic. I get into the town itself, and right where that road led out, there was a Costco across the street that had been taken over by the military. Jesus. Yeah. So, um, I tried to talk to those guys, but... Oh, fuck, my pick broke. The... Here, I got a spare. Oh, sick. You're awesome. It's a stone one, but it'll do ya. Oh, no. Um, so none of the Mexican guys, like the military guys, spoke English, so they yeah. weren't much help. So I walked up the road to try and find a convenience store that yeah. still had stuff. I see diamonds that I can go buy shit from. <laughs> yeah. And what was it? Oh, shit. Um, Jesus. Giant, so nice. terrifying skeleton of death. I'm dying. Do not get hit by that skeleton. Okay. Oh, this is on here. Holy crap. But anyway, so I finally find a place that still has supplies. They're letting people in like three at a time so they can watch every single one of them and make sure people aren't stealing shit. Yeah, going like full-fledged like Hollywood-style apocalyptic shit. Oh, it was like, it was pretty much Hollywood-style apocalyptic shit. Jesus. 
So basically what happened was I was sitting outside for upwards of two hours yeah. in the hot sun in midday. Um, yeah. That was unpleasant. I was not feeling too hot after that. No doubt. But um, basically, we got. I finally got in, and something to the tune of two cans of Pringles, a couple cans of Arizona, yeah. some Gatorade, and a couple cans of beans, cost yeah. me sixty U.S. dollars. Sixty. Sixty. Holy fuck. Yeah, they were profiting like you wouldn't believe off of that. That's pretty... What? Yeah, so I didn't feel too bad for the locals. God. Yeah, I know. And, yeah, um, the shelves were still full of anything that could be cooked, because, you know, no one had any power to cook anything or any gas. And not to mention any fucking money to buy it. Oh my god, a fucking treasure chest came alive. Yeah, I know. That happened to me earlier. Honestly, it wasn't that bad um, in terms of buying things. Like, it was, you know, you needed to do what you needed to do. It was the cabs yeah. that came later that were real fun. Oh, man, I bet there were like a billion dollars per club. Oh, yeah. I spent well over $90 just trying to get to an airport to get out. So, basically, what happened is by the time that is horrifying. God. Um, oh, that's a teleporting zombie. No, thank you. So, by the time that day five or six rolled around, um, everybody was starting to get a little bit antsy to get home. And by everybody, yep. I mean me, because everyone was content to sit in Mexico and drink for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Uh, but I had classes and shit that I had to get to, so, um, no. basically, where are you, pig? Come back here. I'm trying to kill you. Um, so we eventually managed to get some cell phone service, because we hadn't had cell service for a solid week either. Yeah. And our CEO managed to get a hold of the airline that brought us down. Yeah. And they wouldn't do anything. They would send a plane back. They wouldn't do anything. So we were looking at having to drive to the nearest airport yeah. and try and try our own luck and to get out and pay for our own tickets and everything. Oh because we bought round flight tickets and we couldn't use them apparently because we didn't have anything. So like, I think they were offering to fly you to Mexico City. And yeah. then you had to figure out a way back to wherever you were from from there. Oh, good. Yeah, and if you know anything about Mexico City, it is supposedly, like, ridiculously sketchy. Yeah, I've kind of heard that. Oh my God. Yeah, so none of us were a big fan of that plan. So, um, but we didn't really have any other option at that point. Yeah. So what we did is we called, or we got a couple of cabs, van yeah. cabs, and if you've ever been to Mexico, you've probably ridden in a van cab if you're in any sort of group. Yeah, yeah. Um, they hold normally, like, six to eight people. Um, oh, and they match crammed, stuff like 300 in there? Oh, yeah, we crammed like 16 in each. <laughs> So oh it was God. like four people to a seat, and there was like th or four people to like a row seat, and there were like three rows of seats. <laughs> oh my three or four gosh. rows, plus the driver. So yeah, we were packed in there like sardines. There were people sitting on the floor. We were, to excuse the phrase, riding Mexican style. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that was interesting. But we paid the cabbie like $60 for all of us to take us to the airport, which was like a three-hour drive from there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so he was nice, and he cut the rate down a little bit because there were going to be so many of us riding in the cab. Yeah. So we only had to pay like something to the tune of $60 US a piece for that first one. Where are all these yeah. books coming from? These enchanted I found books. Them. I found them in uh, a, uh, a tunnel. Sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, I found a bunch of food, too. Okay, well, we'll have to continue your story on the next episode.
Oh shit, it's that time tip. already. Yeah, we, we've decided to cut these down to 10 minute episodes instead of dragging them on for a half hour. Make Kinda them a little bit things... more manageable. Yeah, and I'm sure people end up starting to get bored after a freaking half hour of watching us do dilly shit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alrighty, so see you in the next episode.